This is the recipe for you. We have Amy Kaisen, Cannon Geyser, I should say, from My Retro Kitchen coming in to help us out here because for someone like me, I think this is a great thing. You don't have to bake, right? Not at all. Not a smidge. I love. Thanks for being here, Amy. What Thank you for having What do me. you have here? And uh, how can I help you to put it together? All right. Well, today we're going to do two different desserts. One is if you only have, say, 10 minutes um, to throw it together, um, then you are set and ready to go. You just have to give it a little extra time in the freezer to set up. And then the other one is if you only have two minutes of prep time, and then well, you're I ready to go. That, uh, well, so, I think if people can't do this, they definitely can do the two minute exactly. one. Exactly. So this first one, we're going to do an ice cream pie. You can use any kind. You can use sorbet, frozen yogurt, um, any of your favorite things. And you get a prepared pie crust. This one is just an ice cream cracker crust. And you want to soften your ice cream or sorbet in the refrigerator for at least an hour. You want it nice and spreadable. So you're just going to scoop that right into your pie pan. Right and top. try not to eat any of it while yes. you're doing this. Well, that's part of it being a cook. You get to a little taste a little bit along the way. So you're going to put that in and then spread this out really good. Kinda so it can be a little bit... Uh, Oh, yeah. You have a little thick consistency That's still. That's fine, yeah. You just want to be able to move it around the, the pan. You don't want it watery by all me any means. This one is a frozen yogurt that I'm doing today. It smells delicious. I don't care what you say. I'd, have, I'd probably have the whole, what is this, half a gallon and have it eaten before so I even. So good. So after we do that, then we're going to um, pop it in the freezer and let this just settle just a smidge. You only put it in there maybe 30 minutes. And then we're going to top it with some whipped topping. You can use a homemade if you like. You can use the kind in the tub, whatever is best for you. It takes about a half of a, a tub if you're going to go that route. Um, so you're just going to then spread that on top, make it look real pretty, cover the ice cream. See, now they've been wanting me to, to cook on the show and do something, you know, m my own little thing. And mm -hmm. I think I need to get some advice from you oh, on things where I don't have to actually bake or <laughs> do anything too crazy, but still looks unbelievable. Do you think you could help me? I would love it. And guess what? I have a food blog, My Retro oh, Kitchen. Okay. Well, I'll have go to go to the blog then. <laughs> there you go. Go to myretrokitchen.blogspot.com. And I have so many different types of recipes, desserts and dinners and things like that. Okay. Good to know. <clears throat> After you have this on top, you're going to then put it again again back in the freezer so it all can get nice and settled for again about 30 to 45 minutes and then you get to bring it out and top it with all of your fun um, toppings. So for this one since it was a black cherry sorbet or ice cream that I was using I brought some fresh berries that looked nice at the market today and I'm going to top that on top. You can't beat this I'm telling you. No, put the pretty strawberry here, put some black berries on. Look, just so scatter them just around. Scatter you still make it's them look so, so good. It's so easy. This is the easiest. And the thing is, is people always think ice cream cakes and pies are so complicated. So when you bring it out and say that you're the one that made it, no one can believe it. And it's pretty neat. You really can. And see, see that's why chocolate. I need you. Because I'll look like, you know, I, I've been in the kitchen slaving away. And then there you go. That's done. That looks that great. That is all that takes. It's that so looks great. fast. And is that what you've done over here and too? And that's what we've done over here. This one, I used a mint chocolate chip ice cream, so kind of like a grasshopper pie, some fresh mint from the garden, and then topped it with some um, chocolate chip morsels. Nestle has these fun um, ones that are the mint and the dark chocolate, but you know, whatever you are inclined to do. And you're able really to just, fun. can you can you cut it out actually? Yep. Because, yep. It's, because it's frozen practically, this right? It's frozen. When you're ready to cut, you want to take it out about 15 minutes prior to serving just because if you've ever cut into a ice cream cake you know you how know. crazy mm -hmm. that is that's my favorite kind of cake too so oh, everyone loves it wow so that really does so just does, cut right up and cut then cut you right can out. scoop it right out well, let's see hopefully <laughs> we hope it is live tv, it so is live TV. Possible. <laughs> and it's always in these situations where things go wrong and look at that there we go pretty see, good that looks great there we go you got your fresh you even have the fresh mint there top it off uh, Love that. Now, so someone, you know, 10 minutes really, I mean, that's not much time at all, I think, no. to whip something together. But if you really don't even have 10 minutes, you can do it in two minutes and have a great treat. So is that what this is? What this is, yes. It, these are called frozen yogurt bites. So you want to have your kids to eat more yogurt. You should be eating more yogurt, but sometimes you really would rather have a bowl of ice cream. Oh, sure. Absolutely. This way, you get to do the same thing. Start off with a single serving of your favorite type of yogurt. Um, I chose Greek yogurt today just because it seems to settle up just a little bit, holds its shape a little bit better, but anything that you enjoy is fine. You're going to spoon it in 
to just a Ziploc bag. If you have a pastry bag, you can do that. Um, but this is easy enough. Everyone has a sandwich bag. And then you're going to cut the tip of your bag, just a small one. You don't want it too big because then it's going to ooze everywhere. And just real carefully make little buttons. Look at that. And, and these, that's what you've that's, that's what you've made what here. That's what I've done here. And the nice thing is that once you make these, they're not going to spread. They're not going to get any bigger. So you can cram them in. With one single serving of the frozen yogurt, you get 85 to 90 bites. Wow. So if you really want a bowl of ice cream, you can have that. And you can even just as is um, and munch on them. They're great for babies because they can pick it up really easy, but as an adult, I love it myself. And then you can have it with the fresh fruit or granola, it and looks, it's just such a it wonderful looks delicious. treat. Amy, thank you so much. Your blog again? Thank you. My Retro Kitchen, which is myretrokitchen.blogspot.com. All right, thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. Great treats for in the kitchen still to come on New Day Cleveland 2. Late season bloomers, adding some color to your yard for fall. We'll be right back.